Hi guys, what have you heard about Igbo women in the southern part of Nigeria? Maybe I should be able to let you know one or two to bring you up to date about our formidable women. So in 1929, in the southern part of Nigeria, thousands of women rose against British colonial governments. They fought not just for themselves, but for their community, for their dignity, and for their livelihood. And in the heart of this revolt were the Igbo women and the Ibibio women. This is what is known as Aba Women's Riot. The Aba Women's Riot was not an isolated event, meaning that something must have sprung it up. This is as a result of years of political and economic oppression under the British colonial rule. To fully understand why the women revolted, I need to first take you back to the system of government the British colony used in Nigeria as of that time. The British introduced a system of government where they selected a few number of indigenous men who are called the Warren Chiefs in order for them to rule on behalf of the British government. This system of government had little or no regard for the Igbo system of government. To fully grasp what I'm talking about, let's talk about the Igbo system of government in a jiffy in Igbo society the leadership were mainly decentralized where decisions were made collectively by village councils but the british ignored this empowering the warren chiefs who abused their powers and often enforcing unpopular colonial policies one of the key roles of the women in the Igbo society was in the local markets. They were the backbone and the foundation of the local trade, controlling the economy through agriculture and commerce. So in 1929, the colonial government tried to impose a new tax on the market women something that have never been done before. When this rumor spread across the market women, this was the last straw. The market women or the Igbo women were not having it. They rose up across all the regions, organized themselves and resist the move. The women used a unique system of protests which we are peculiar to them as of that time. They went about with a traditional system of protest where they have to go to the Warren Chief's house singing chants of defiance and shaming the Warren Chiefs. They also went about mobilizing other women from other ethnic groups and women from Ibibio and other ethnic groups joined the Igbo women to protest. What started as a peaceful protest soon escalated. When their voices were not adhered to, they went about destroying some of the Warren Chief's houses and some of the colonial masters' buildings. In response, the colonial authorities reacted violently, moved in British soldiers that killed over 50 women and have hundreds of others wounded. There was a devastating loss of lives, but the women's courage was not in vain as the British or colonial government made or were forced to make reforms. They dismantled the Warren chief system of government and also abandoned the plans to tax the market women. The Aba women's riot remains one of the most important anti-colonial movement in the history of Nigeria. It highlights the collective action and the vital role women play in resisting the colonial rule. Today, Aba Women's Riot remains one of the inspiring tools to most activists 
and leaders in Nigeria. Let me know what you think about this. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything I missed, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Uche and this is GIST TV.